Good morning guys, Jordan here from Artisan Electrics. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, think about subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell, then you'll get regular video updates from us because we post here every week and there's lots more interesting content to come. So today's video, we are installing an electric vehicle charging point in an underground car park. And that's a first for us. So it's a little bit of an exciting one. The customer lives in a big apartment block uh, in Cambridge and they wanted an EV charging point but the only parking available that they've got is their parking space in the underground car garage. So it's a little bit of a tricky one because um, how do you get power there you know? Do you take it off a communal supply or do you take it off the flat supply? So we weren't allowed to take it off the communal supply so what we've had to do or what we will be doing shortly uh, is running in uh, an armoured cable from the charging point all the way up to the flat uh, supply. So there's a switch fuse in like a riser cupboard next to the flat or near the flat. And we're going to basically put a Henley block in there, come off the main uh, tails there, install a small consumer unit with a circuit running all the way down to the electric vehicle charging point. Now it's, I think the flat's on the third floor. We've got to drop an armored cable all the way down the riser cupboard, then run it along through the car park on some existing cable tray. And then we've got to actually add some extra cable tray to drop down to the charging point. We're putting a Rolex tethered unit in and the customer's not decided what car he wants to get yet. So, um, he was thinking about a Tesla, but he's not made his mind up yet. So he's just decided to go for a Rolex charging point at the moment. Of course, with the Tesla charging points, you do need to have a vehicle identification number in order to buy a Tesla charging unit. You can't just buy one for any car. You have to have a Tesla basically, or have a Tesla on order in order to get a Tesla charging point. So yeah, we're going to be putting in this Rolex tethered charging point. Um, should be fairly straightforward, hopefully but you never quite know in these kind of jobs. So I'll walk you through the job and let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. So here we are. This is the car park space where we're going to be installing the electric vehicle charging point. And it's going to go in just behind me here on this wall. Uh, so what we're going to do is run a cable tray up along the ceiling here. And across to here, to this big cable tray run and we're going to take the lid off that and run our cables in all the way along here all the way along and across here into the riser cupboard and here we're going to go up and we're going to go up four floors to the riser cupboard where the flat is and then once you get up there basically you've got a similar situation to here you've got little cutouts switch views for the individual flat so we're just going to add a little extra consumer unit next to it put a Henley block in connect up there and then run our consumer unit off the Henley block and run the armoured cable from there all the way down. So I was being all cocky, showing off my laser level to Andrew, who's working with me today. And he was amazed by this incredible new gadget that exists. Because, you know, old, old boys like him uh, haven't come across these kind of gadgets. Uh, and he was saying, well, why don't we just chalk line it like the good old days? And I said, no, laser level's the way forward. So I put my laser level up, started marking everything. And then guess what? The battery died on the laser level. So we've just put in the chalk line now. Uh, two chalk lines, in fact, for both sides of the um, cable tray brackets. And um, hats off to Andrew. Sometimes old school is the best way. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you prefer a laser level or do you prefer a chalk line?
So up here we've got the main incomer. There's this one and basically we've got a main switch here. Tails coming out into the switch fuse for the flat. So what we're gonna do is put a Henley block in here somewhere just to interrupt those tails and then run down and put a new consumer unit in just down here with one circuit which will supply the electric vehicle charging point and then we're going to run the armoured cable down this existing basket which drops straight down four floors through to the bottom where the garage is and the electric vehicle charging point is going to be. So we've got the cable up the riser now all the way up to the top floor so that's good. So that's coming through now here at the moment. What we're going to do is run it all the way along this cable tray now um, over to where Andrew is and then we've got the other cable tray in. Um, so we've got this tray in now running along to the wall and down, charging point on the wall. Just going to run the armour cable and do a loop like that up into the charging point bond it all together um, and interesting thing with this um, look at that see all these cables they've just been slung in we've actually had to cable tie them as we put the lid on uh, off took the lid off otherwise they would have just all fallen down they were literally not secured at all there's a load of data cables and some armored cables up there um, so we just sort of tied them every so often just to hold them up out of place but yeah someone's done a bit of a bodge job on that obviously we're going to tie uh, cable tie our cable in properly do it all nice and neatly so um, it'll be a proper job but yeah it's a bit annoying to see that really so just going to get this um, armoured cable pulled in the rest of the way now and then start terminating the ends So we have got the cable terminated at the other end, now we're putting the little distribution board in here. So armoured cable dropping down there, basically one way BG board with an MCB here. And then we're taking these tails off of this Henley block. The Henley block is going to come off this main switch and then from the Henley block back up to the switch fuse for the flat so that everything's running off the outside of that fuse an earth terminal here so we'll run the earth from there and then it's just a matter of doing some testing and getting everything connected up okay so we're all connected at this end so as you can see the armored cables neatly clipped down there I've left a quite a large loop because I thought if he ever wants to change this later to a different charging point then at least um, it's enough cable to play with to extend it if needed. The armoured cable comes across, I've just bonded it to the cable tray as well. Um, this is a PME system but as there's no contact with the outside earth it's, you know, it's fine. Um, but certainly bonding everything together so that there's no chance of different potentials between for example the cable tray and the metal of the uh, car is definitely a good idea obviously so we've just bonded that all together so that everything's at the same potential um, got the armored cable glanded in here looping up into the top of the RCD Andrew's just at the other end now he's finished the DB up there and he's just doing um, a ZE and PFC test on that DB and then we're going to liven it up I've already done an R1 and R2 test here and I've got one 0 0.11 ohms which is really good considering it's like a 50 meter cable run um, 10 mil three core so it's quite hefty cable purposefully because of the length of the cable um, so that's that we've got a separate gland here for the earth so the earth goes in the other side um, so once it's live enough I'm just going to do ZS and going to do <coughs> RCD test close it all up and then we've just got to put all that tr uh, cable tray lid back on and um, what have you and then we're out of here so it's gone fairly smoothly I'm quite glad with how it's gone and, and it's a nice neat job so I'm really pleased with it so I've done ZS and I've got 0.09 ohms which is excellent 
And now I've done RCD tests and I just want to give you a little tip about this. So the, um, the consensus is for RCD testing now as there's only one box with a reading and the certificate for the RCD test, it should be the highest value of the five times RCD test that you record on the certificate. So in this case with my RCD test it's got an auto RCD test and I can just flick through the readings there. So I've got 5.9 milliseconds and 11.9 milliseconds for five times, 24.6 and 15.3 for one times, and it didn't trip for half a time. So the reading I will record on the certificate is 11.9 milliseconds, which is the highest reading on the five times test setting. Now this is a type A RCD, which means that it can also do DC, fault cur um, DC leakage currents. And my tester has a function to uh, test the DC side as well. So I flick that over now to the DC side. I'm going to do an RCD test on that side as well. And again, I'll just record the highest reading of the two on the certificate. So just a little bit about RCD testing there. So on the DC um, RCD test, I actually got 12.1, which is higher than the 11.9 I got on the AC one. So I'm going to record that on my certificate. Um, so just for a sort of a memory aid, basically you should be doing 12 RCD tests in total on a type A RCD. You should be doing 6 of the AC type and 6 of the DC type, so 12 in total. That's obviously half times at 0 degrees of the sine wave, half times at 180 degrees of the sine wave, then 1 times 0 degrees, 180 degrees, 5 times 0 degrees, 180 degrees and then the same six tests, but in the DC side of things. Okay, so this is a finished product. So we've got the Henley block here that we've put in to split the tails off, out of the Henley block to the existing main switch, and then out to the new consumer unit here for the electric vehicle charging point. And we just got main switch and MCB in there. That's all labeled up on the top. Then the armored cable comes out neatly and goes across to the cable tray. So. Jobs are good. And here it is, the finished product, all holstered up and we're ready to rock. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and you'll get more regular video updates from us. And check out the link in the description, you'll see my Amazon shop where you can find all some of my favorite tools and products that I like to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks for watching and have a great day.